So we are now at a sustainable initiative in Namibia, in Ochiwarango. It's called Young Africa and here they learn students how to install solar panels. Uh, they have just started uh, a couple of months ago and in July the first 23 students will be done. And as Namibia has a lot of potential for solar panels, it's a quite good profession to have here. My name is Olivia Namkomba. I'm the country director for Young Africa Namibia. Uh, Young Africa is a non-profit organization uh, that started in the Netherlands, founded by, founded by a Dutch couple, Dirk Pellens and his wife Yvette Pellens. So in Namibia, we started operating in Walfish Bay in 2014, training young people in solar technology. 2015, we opened a new center here in Ochivarongo, where we are based. So we trained more than 225 young people in nine regions in Namibia on the maintenance of solar systems. The DNA of Young Africa is as such that we have the business model, which is the franchise model, and then we also have the capacity building, which is empowering of, of, of young people. So what we do, we, we recruit entrepreneurs and we franchise a department to them with all the tools and everything that they will need to train young people, but also run their businesses. So because of that, we have seen growth in the young person coming from a very underprivileged community because we only take up students that have failed grade 10 and 12. And in Namibia, usually, when you fail grade 10, your future is bleak because you end up going to the streets and we train them and equip them with skills to live, including life skills, so for personal development, including entrepreneurship for business uh, development. My name is Morris Paisago. We started this year, February month. We are going for six months course. The guys on top, on top of the roof, they are busy installing the solars now. They are going to uh, install solars here on top. They are busy installing it now. Um, we are going to connect it on series. And then we are going to charge this battery here. And after we charge the battery, we are going to switch on this lights. We learn here basically how to, how to do the sizing and the wiring, how, how the wiring must be done. And this one is just for basic. Uh, we started here on of the solars. Mm -hmm. We are getting fury in this class from 8.30 up to 1 o'clock. And after 1 o'clock, then we are going, mostly going out to the practical rooms where we are by divided in, in different groups. Who is going to do what? Who is going to install solars on top? Who is going to do the panels here? And who is going to do the uh, solar home system connection outside under the roof? Good, my name is James Unumatha Werikwa, the regional governor for Shodanjipa region. Uh, our region is actually blessed with a lot of sun. 99% of our times here is only during winter where you see a short sun, but it doesn't mean that at any point in time we have enough sun. Skills is a key issue. Any technology that comes, you need an element of skills. And I'm very happy here where we are staying at Young Africa, they are capacitating young Namibians that will be able to maintain these systems, that will be able to provide skills. Currently, we are really looking at uh, expanding uh, um, our knowledge that we have and skills and to other regions because we are only training young people here. So our dream is to be able to have a whole mobile unit where we can go to where the young people are. Because if they have to come to where we are, then they incur a cost of rent, uh, food and everything. But when you go to where they are, it means they come from home, they come for training, and then they, 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 they go back. So we, we are training our young people, not just for our local market, but also for our international um, market. So it is our dream to be able to export our learners to different countries where they can start working in, 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 in solar companies. We would like to our trainers to receive more training on green hydrogen. That is one, one area that we have no knowledge of currently. Or most of the young people that we train, which is our target audience, are from underprivileged communities. Of course, we cannot do this for free. We do ask a small fee for them to pay in order to train them. Many of them always struggle to, to pay for their studies, so we, we receive scholarship from uh, different organizations, but from PECs and so on, but there is always more needed in order to make sure that we can train uh, more young people. 
Um, also, modern tools, you know, uh, technology is what we need. Uh, and more partnership, even in sharing of just skills and knowledge. As you can see, we do have the infrastructure. So we can have a trainer in the Netherlands and they can train our young people from, from, from here. So we would like to see such exchanging of skills and, and, and knowledge, even exchange programs where we can have volunteers from the Netherlands and our young people can also go there and, and, and learn and we exchange knowledge like that. So this was the video about Young Africa, where they educate people for uh, solar systems. Uh, as you can hear, they have quite some questions for support, so if you can help them, do let us know. And we will see you soon on the next initiative. Mm -hmm.